That cold start was brutal, my friend. No, I did not get it on camera. I can't have evidence from my neighbors. All right, guys, so today we are gonna be doing a CFM short throw shifter in John's SVT Focus. Pretty excited about this. We picked this up the same day we did the uh, off-road downpipe on the car and straight pipe. If you haven't seen that video, it is hilarious. Go click the button that is right up here. Uh, we're gonna install this because the stock shifter in this thing is like, like that's first gear, here's second gear, third gear, fourth gear. It's like driving a truck, man. We can't be having that. And my new SCT Focus over there has a short throw shifter and John is really jealous. Yeah, yeah I was actually pretty sour about that. <laughs> hey, but mine has the heated seats. <laughs> yeah, his has heated seats. Yep, I'm heated like, seat option right here. That is one of the reasons I was like, oh dude, we gotta go get the Focus, man. <laughs> And like, mine doesn't have heated seats. Because Andrew's all about that heated seat life. Yeah, but I do have the red seats. And I told John, yeah, you know, do like we seat. can just trade. I'll take your heated seat option. <laughs> Turns out the mine are a little not great, but, you know. Yeah. So, um, anyways, this product as well came just like this in the box. And just like the last product, the throttle body that we did in the parking lot uh, when we made the last video, um, these guys just do it excellent job of putting things together in order and giving you all the bits tools needed bolts and everything like i really like out of all the products i've ever installed over the years like these guys hands down do one of the best jobs of packaging and getting their stuff organized so i definitely have to say i can't recommend them enough you know what i mean just on that fact shout alone. out to hector and chris Alrighty guys, well, we're gonna get jamming on this thing, so yeah, we're gonna bear figure with out us. What, the, what the hell we're doing because we never know what the hell we're doing until we do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, I think first step is to take the shift knob up. Mine was excessively tight, so it channel locks his life. John, you should clean your uh, carpets, they're pretty dirty. That's what happens when you roll from Ohio, man. Things get really dirty. So apparently that shift knob. Oh, I see. It's built into yeah, the shift boot. That's kind of interesting. Um, now we're going to research further on how to take all this apart. Yep. All right, so this piece just kind of popped up. Yep. And there's some connectors there on the bottom because he has heated seats. What a dick. All about that heated seat life. And then he's just going to pop those connectors off, and then I'm going to steal his heated seat oh, function shit. and seats and put in my focus. And then I'll have my red interior. Yay. So, yeah. Plate cover. All right, now uh, let me figure out what's next. That just pulls up. Just pry that open. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Shift now. I see. Uh, I see a shifter. Mhm. Mm wow, that is really tall. I think by just like shifting down lower. If yeah, it's already like shorter mm -hmm. by shifting down lower. So that's part of it, just being a lower stick. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's not bad. We're gonna remove the two Phillips head screws. Just below um, the cup holders. Yeah, just below the cup holders. Okay, maybe helpful to empty your change out of the cup holder. Yeah, so once you pop a little cover, do you leave it up? This comes right out. And then we have, uh, what are those, 10 millimeters? Yep. All right, so we just got those three 10 millimeter bolts out. Now we have to somehow yank this thing out and up. Please stand by as John breaks his console. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's free. It was just a little stuck. So I guess there's some wires up front. Where the cigarette be. lighter is right there, they have on the side. All right, now we can remove the center, center console. console. And please power wash, John. Yep. All right, and now we have the exposed shifter assembly. And the heated seats. <laughs> I want heated seats <laughs> for the 10 days it's cold in Florida. Right. All right, so we're just removing the shifter linkage or connection, whatever you want to call it. The gear shift knob thing. The gear shifting mechanism thing. Next, you got to use the torque bit they actually provided, which is super sweet, inside your little screwdriver doohickey to get these four bolts up. That's nice, because now we don't have to take a trip to AutoZone because I don't have those. <laughs> oh, well, there you, well, hold on a second. I might have to actually put this on a socket, so. Quarter inch. Yeah, because they torqued it like regular people. Remove up and out of the vehicle. Yep. All right. And now we got to figure out how to assemble the other part. Yep. <laughs> hey, look at this shit. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, it was like, can't find it. Can't find a second. Oh, God damn it, you missed! Poor John. So next, so we gotta do the selector little clip dealio here. That way. That piece slides right off, and that slides right out. Now we'll read the instructions more, because again, we don't know what the hell we're doing. See, that's the old versus the new. That's nice, dude. Yeah, that thing's sweet. Look at it, that's just a really nice quality that they did down last time. Pretty sweet. CFM has some good stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna slide that rubber. We gotta pull this guy out of the white deal here. That goes on there. Oh, there. Like so. and then what I understand is we gotta put this kind of assembly deal back. We're gonna consult the instructions. So, uh, these three pieces are just like this in order on this old sh uh, shift knob right here. So you gotta pop this guy off first, the rubber piece, then pull the plastic out, and then pull this bottom out the bottom. And then so now I believe this guy is done. So then we have to do the reverse order on this. It's a good idea to use some grease. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to have your stuff lubed up. And they provided it, which is awesome. Yep, so. provided grease because Andrew doesn't have grease anyway, so I would have told John he's SOL, he's gonna raw dog it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't keep a straight face. <laughs> I'm talking about the shifter, John. God damn it. Okay, so after you get the rubber piece, uh, what I did was put the black piece in, put that clear mechanism down from down below in, then you gotta slide the rubber piece over, which is like actually kind of a pain in the ass. So just to make sure you have a flat blade screwdriver on, screwdriver on hand and a rag for sure. And that just gets really messy. All right, and now we can move the assembled shifter assembly into the car. Yep, but first for everybody, just gotta put this little piece back on here, put the clip back on. And this lower plate right here will go on the bottom here. And then what's kind of cool is they provided, with Allen wrench, longer bolts. So that way when you pop it in there, you're ready to go. Yeah, pretty much line that up, draw the bolts in, put the shifter linkage on. All right, so we just put our four bolts, or Allen head bolts there, connected our linkage there and down there. And then now we're gonna set our set screws and put the handle at the desired height. Yeah. This is at the bottom setting. We're gonna go test it. Yeah. Out of the neighborhood. Test it with a dash out because weight reduction race car. Yeah. Really short second. Yeah, that is really nice. We still won't be able to find it, but. Uh, we help. or you? <laughs> Water cup holders. <laughs> yes. Because race car. Because race car. So everything checks out with it. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it back together. John's just finishing up the center console install. All right, yeah. and that's a wrap. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the CFM short throw shifter install on John's straight piped SVT Focus. Uh, we had a lot of fun with this car, making it super loud, throwing some bolt-ons on it. Len her rip tater chip. Uh, so if you guys want to hit that subscribe button down below if you are new. Uh, I also just picked up my SCT Focus over there, which I'm going to be doing uh, some fixing up and messing with it. So anyway guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you're interested in any of the CFM stuff, I'll have a link down in the description. Go check it out. <laughs>